Technique versus tactics. This is a sequel to one I did before, Contact versus Context, talking about how the MMA industry is not real. It's a sport, and I wanna talk about that. People didn't understand where I'm coming from. I have all the respect for the combativeness of what they're doing, but their tactics are geared for the ring, not for the street. See, in the street, we're dealing with things that can be utilized at any moment. People don't realize how much weapons can be done out there. Now, I'm not doing this to carry all these weapons for personal protection. It's a make a point of how easy it is to disguise a weapon, hide it on your person, all different things that could be used out in the environment as I continue to go through. Force multipliers, more knives, more knives again, another knife, another knife. Now you're gonna sit there and say, you carry all those knives? No, I don't, but there are people who do. And it's easy to hide all these tools wearing a jacket. But it doesn't end there, because it can end here, or more importantly, end here. MMA fighters don't train for this. Their techniques are phenomenal. They train for the finish, whether they win, lose, or draw. We train to look for the door. We train to survive. They're not trained for self-defense. They're trained for a martial sport. There's rules, regulations, safety equipment. They're not preparing themselves for the street. Their tactics don't do well against tools of this nature. They will grapple, they will get stabbed, they will get shot and killed because their strategy in the street is not for that. They're playing for the ring. So more things about real martial arts, real survival skills, make sure you follow.